Nice Kicks Nation, it's a pleasure as always to see you as whenever you see my face, you know it's Thursday. So with that comes the latest edition of Nice Kicks Throwback Thursday. I'm your host, Pierce Simpson. As always, thank you for tuning in for another week. Now with Paul George and Nike unveiling the Nike Hyperdunk 2015, it seems fitting that in today's episode, we take a look at the lineage of the Nike Hyperdunk series unveiled by Nike Basketball, dating all the way back to 2008. So you know the task at hand with every Nice Kicks Throwback Thursday. I provide the history, a couple of features, a couple of celebrities we may see in the model, and everything all inclusive. So sit back and relax and enjoy this latest edition of Nice Kicks TBT. Originally debuting in 2008, the Nike Hyperdunk was an innovative model that debuted flywire technology and lunar cushioning to the hardwood. Headlined by lead endorsers Kobe Bryant and the 2008 Redeem team that took the floor in Beijing and captured a gold medal, the Nike Hyperdunk would unveil a variety of different performance functionality features that Nike-sponsored athletes would enjoy. The Nike Hyperdunk would unveil several prominent commercials such as the USA Basketball commercial featuring Marvin Gaye and the ever so iconic Kobe Bryant jumping over Aston Martin. The very next season in 2009, Nike Basketball unveiled the Nike Hypermax, which incorporated an ankle strap and air cushioning throughout the outsole. Some key endorsers of the model were Chris Bosh and Carlos Boozer. Keeping things pushing going forth, in 2010, Nike would unveil the Nike Hyperdunk 2010, which was led by key endorser Dirk Nowitzki or by Dallas residents Dirk the God. But either way, the model would bring back flywire technology throughout the upper, along with zoom air cushioning throughout for a respective silhouette. The very next silhouette to release is the Nike Air Max Hyperdunk, which looks very similar to the Nike Hypermax of 2009, incorporating an ankle strap, but this time flywire throughout the upper, along with zoom air cushioning throughout the outsole. Some lead endorsers of this model was LaMarcus Aldridge and Carlos Booz. Now, one of the more popular Nike Hyperdunk models was the Nike Hyperdunk 2012 that incorporated Nike Plus technology in which you could measure several attributes such as your speed, vertical, and things of that nature. With the LeBron James commercial airing during 2012 and being sported throughout the Olympics, we saw the likes of Kyrie Irving and several notable Nike-sponsored athletes unveil PEs and regular models of the silhouette. Now, as 2015 arrives, well, we're reaching the midway point of 2015, and Paul George looks to come back from a horrific injury suffered last season, Nike has unveiled the Nike Hyperdunk 2015. With Paul George seemingly being the leading endorser, this innovative model is constructed like a hot top, but to perform like a low top. This model is said to be one of the more innovative silhouettes of 2015. Taking design cues from the Nike mag, the Nike Hyperdunk 2015 incorporates a hyperfuse construction that fuses lightweight textile with support skins that creates a seamless one-piece upper for lightweight durability and support. A flexible collar foam helps lock down the foot in place, providing further support of a high top with a low top feel. The Nike Hyperdunk 2015 seems to be a very innovative and responsive silhouette, something that basketball enthusiasts should enjoy for the foreseeable future. Nonetheless, what are one of your favorite kicks from the Nike Hyperdunk series? Let us know in the comment section below, and as always, continue to stay locked to Nice Kicks for the latest sneaker news and exclusive content. I'm your man, Pierce Simpson, signing out for another edition of Nice Kicks Throwback Thursday. I'll see you again next Thursday as we take a look at another intriguing silhouette. Until next time, peace.